Hey nesters, welcome back to Nesting Haven. Today we are going to Goodwill looking for some home decor to pick up to resell on eBay or just to add to my own home. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what Goodwill had today. I always really enjoy these vintage canisters. You always want to be careful of the seal. I'm sure you can replace them, but more often than not, when you find the original ones, the seals are a little janky. They have this really nice bird metal art put out by Sexton in 1971, made in the USA. Add a little bit of paint wear to it, but overall was in really nice shape. I really like the look to it and will look fantastic on a wall. I saw these Diet Pepsi iced tea style glasses here. I like the looks to them. I'm not really a soda drinker myself, but I know a lot of people enjoy these types of items. They were asking $2 a piece for them. I did pick those up. I figured I'd give them a try on eBay auction. We'll see how they do. I usually do pretty well selling these type of coffee mugs with the seagulls, kind of a nautical scene on them. This one, you know, it looks a little bit like Otagiri, but it was put out by Down East. And they were asking a dollar for it, I think, but the inside unfortunately had a huge chip in it. So obviously that went back on the shelf. You're not going to drink out of a mug with a chip in it. <laughs> On the bottom shelf, you'll see several cups and saucers. They are Falls Graph Aura pattern, and uh, Falls Graph just still does not sell very well. I don't understand it. I think it's a really nice quality stoneware. Hopefully someday people will fall back in love with Falls Graph, but right now is not the time. On the top shelf, I found this South of the Border coffee mug. This was fantastic. I couldn't believe the inside. How amazing is that? Now, me and my husband, our first road trip, we drove down to Georgia, and on the way there, we saw several billboards advertising for this place, and we did stop there, so I snagged that up just to add in our collection, just for a memory, get in a souvenir after the fact. Do you guys ever do that? Come across the souvenir of a place you've gone to, and just pick it up because, you know, the memories. <laughs> I got excited when I saw this. I thought it might be a Le Creuset, is how I usually pronounce it. I think it's actually Le Creuset. I thought it was a, you know, Dutch oven, but it was a little unfortunate. I have been wanting one of those Dutch ovens. If you guys actually have one, let me know if it's worth paying up the money for. I've wanted one for quite some time, but I have yet to, you know, pay up the expense for it. I've sold a few of these hand-painted ceramic caddies before, so I was pretty excited when I came across them. Unfortunately, I only ended up getting just one. I got this green one here. I kind of do like that yellow one with the red on the inside. It looks very 1950s. This one, I just didn't like the glaze and the way they painted it. I don't remember why I didn't get that one. I, maybe I saw a chip on it, or I don't really remember, but I would have grabbed that. <laughs> you know, hindsight, if there was nothing wrong with it.
I always think letters and numbers like this look really neat. They're perfect for gallery walls. I was just kind of looking for myself. There wasn't really anything there I was resonating with. I didn't really think in terms of reselling them. I think they're pretty easily available, but um, there's kind of a variety there, so maybe it's something I should have picked up. I found this tumbleweed pottery bowl here. Tumbleweed pottery sells pretty nicely and it's a really beautiful stoneware. It had this little egg on the side and that indicated that it's actually a little egg scrambler. So that was a cute little find. I also found this new in box set of Mr. and Mrs. mugs, only $2. I thought this would be a nice wedding gift. Obviously someone was gifted it probably at some point. Maybe they didn't like it, but I think they're really cute and so I did pick those up. They had this beautiful vintage Ellie Smith Moon and Stars Amberina candy dish. I was excited because it had the lid and it was already untaped for me, but unfortunately it was broken. It's pretty rare to find them with the lids on it because they do get broken, you know, from opening them through the years. But yeah, for $5 with a broken lid, I decided to pass on it. So I don't too often look through the plastic section because I'm not really into plastics. I did see these vintage Tupperware dishes. They were asking $5 for all these. I don't feel like they would have sold for that much. I use glass myself, so let me know. Do you guys like the vintage Tupperware pieces? This picture frame was really neat. It obviously had a nice antique look to it. It had this really nice old photo and it was just a little bit wobbly. I was still contemplating getting it, but it definitely wasn't something I was interested in shipping out. Just I just felt like it would break. It was just so fragile. Well, that is going to do it for this portion of the video, the thrift along with me. Now I am going to share with you all of the items I did pick up today. Be sure to check out my eBay store, go over and favorite so you'll be one of the first people to see when new items are listed.